Guys, I love Darlington so much. Hey guys, Madison Mary here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new weekly reading vlog. This week my main goal is to read Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I received this arc at Book Expo. I actually got to meet Lee and she signed it for me. Ta-da! I'm currently, I just started this today, it is Monday, August something, I don't know what that is. I'm on page 70 currently. So far we have the, like the prologue, which is actually like an epilogue and it takes place early spring. And then the story is actually during winter and it's from Alex's POV, like third person POV. And then we have Last Fall, which is in Darlington's third person POV. So Darlington is Alex's mentor. Alex is known as the Dante and uh, uh, and Darlington's known as Virgil, so it's Virgil and Dante and their code names for like their clan, their cult, their society. I don't know. Their society is the Leith Society. It starts off with Alex. She is going to this ritual that happens four times a year. Like each time, like has to like the stock market and like financial terms. And what happens is they like kind of they dissect a body and use the innards to foretell the future, which is kind of interesting. This is all like within the first chapter that you find out. I'm not going to give too much away because this book doesn't come out until October 8th, I think. The thing why Alex is so special is that she has this ability to see the greys and greys are ghosts and she has this ability to see them with like her naked eye without having to use like this special potion which like ends up taking a toll on people's bodies. So I'm not, I'm really intrigued. I'm only 70 pages in. And I'm a very, I'm still very interested in it. It's definitely not slow as it's starting off with. It's actually kind of humorous and it's interesting. But yes, that's all for now. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye. Ma'am, are you serious? This is, um, yes, this is the I sit. Can I ask you why you are in my seat? Do you have anything to say for yourself? No? No? Mm-hmm. Well, let's, let's, let's see what, <laughs> Let's see what page we're on. Oh look, there's my TBR. There's Ninth House. It is Wednesday. I haven't updated you guys today, but you know it's fine. Um, I'm on page. Oh God, one twenty one. Um, heads up, page one seventeen has a trigger warning on it for, uh, technically. Like, just self, not self harm because, like, it's a ritual, but there's like a blood ritual that goes on, and other people cut someone else. Um, if anyone's sensitive to blood, that's just a heads up. But I will catch you guys up in the morning. Had a lot of stuff to do today, but I think I'm gonna get a lot of reading done tomorrow. Aren't we? I haven't had a lot of reading. I've had a kind of crappy reading week this week, but, um,. We'll see, and I'll catch you guys up in the morning. Hi, so it is like 7 p.m. on Thursday. I have been reading <sighs> Ninth House. I'm currently on page 234. I have been tabbing the heck out of this. It's actually been really fun to tap. I think I'm actually gonna go through this tabbing whole thing, potentially, maybe. We'll see. But there have just been like so many things I have loved having in this. And there's actually been a lot more humor in it than I was expecting. If I wasn't using yellow for all the occult activities, I would have been using it like I normally do for uh, funny things that characters say. I just didn't think that there was gonna be a lot of humor in this because I was expecting it to be like a very dark book. And so far it actually hasn't been that bad i'm guessing that like maybe the second half is going to be where a lot more of the triggers come from i just want to say that people did mention that one of the triggers was child rape and i just want to clarify that for some people because i already came across that that was on just for anyone's anyone who wants to know. So she is in seventh grade. It's on page 135 that it occurs. And she's actually not even sure when it happens if she was molested because it's by a 
ghost which sounds really weird um and it's not graphic at all i just want to put that out there for everyone then i also came across there's just talk about um substance abuse in here then there is a drowning trigger in here that occurs on page 222 so those are the triggers that i've come through so far i just want to let you guys know about i'm actually really enjoying it and it's been really fun it's so atmospheric and i'm constantly wanting to know what happens next i want to know the truth i think that alex is actually a very unreliable narrator there's things that she's keeping from you that you don't know not that she's purposely keeping them from you but it's just by omission because you don't really know like the ever since this started darlington has been missing and you don't know you slowly learn as it goes on what happened that night that Darlington disappeared. I just, I want to know what happened to Darlington because reading his chapters, like, I love him. He's such a snarky character and you just love him. Like, God, I love him. I love Darlington so much. Like, Lee Bardugo has created such a lovable character, in my opinion. Like, sure, he has his shortcomings, but I love him because he's seen as the Leith golden boy and I just think he's so interesting and I look forward to his chapters like I wish we had more of them but we don't get as many of his chapters as we do of Alex's. There are these pages every once in a while, let's see if I can find them, um, of pages from the book of Leith and they're really fun because they're like done like this, they're like just like the little um, entries. They normally talk about one of the houses, one of the eight houses, because the ninth house is technically Leith, who like, the Leith house looks after all other of the eight houses and kind of keeps them in track and in order with Yale and society in general, so like that they don't really get in trouble. And each time you get an entry, you then go to Darlington's chapter where he introduces Alex to the house and they're like, magic so each of the houses has their own kind of magic system and what the, and the rites that they perform and how they have a part in society like it's just it's such an interesting book and i don't really know what i was expecting going into this but it's really fun and it's so intriguing to read like you just want to know more and more about each of these societies and the powers and the magic of this place and you know, the greys and the veil and why is it that Alex can see the greys? How come she can see them? How come she has these experiences with them? And I don't know if you'll end up finding out in this book why. I love the way that Lee has so seamlessly integrated all these different societies, all these different houses into the storyline. Like it never feels like you're being info dumped. And that is such an amazing talent to have. Like Lee Bardugo writes beautifully like i have used so many pink tabs just for beautiful prose and just quotes that i adore i never like want to put it down i only ever put it down because of like timing and reasons for things like that but yeah i'm just still reading this i feel like this might be the only book that i really read this week i've had a bit of an off reading week sadly um which kind of sucks so i feel like this is just going to be like a ninth house reading vlog pretty much more than like anything else but i'm about to head out now with my brother we're gonna go grab some pizza for dinner i'm excited because i haven't left the apartment all day because i had like mild toe surgery a little bit ago um so like walking is unpleasant but yes that is all for now and i'll catch you guys up later bye Hi, I'm currently on page 290 of the ninth house. Loving it so far. Just recently got to the weird part about a uh, defecation. Thought it was actually gonna be really gross and I did like have my hand over my mouth and I was like, oh my God. But it was like cool. Well, the reason behind it. We also had like a second rape scene, but it happened off camera, <sighs> off page. Um, and right now it's really interesting. So Alex is saying that no one actually knows who she is and only Darlington ever guessed it. So I'm really curious to see what that's all about. I also really love the bridegroom. He's one of the greys who is like, haunting New Haven in Yale because he was apparently he killed his wife um, and then killed himself but he says he didn't and he kind of wants Alex's help to find the truth which is 
fun. But yes, page 290, I am making headway, guys. Super excited. Good little baby girl. Okay, bye. So I just, oh my god, I just found out. You, I, what happened that night at Ground Zero? Like, you just found out. Like, the event is a whole chapter that's like last summer. Did not see that coming. Did not think that's what happened. But like, it makes sense, guys. And it's actually kind of cool. And it's so freaking sick. This book is just, it's like there are so many things that happen and it's just sad. You feel so bad for all of these characters. You're just like, you poor thing. Like, oh my God, poor Helly. She didn't deserve that. Oh my god, like I only have like that much left of the book. <gasps> I just don't even know what's gonna happen now. I'm so nervous. But um I do wanna say that page three or seven of the arc has an overdose in it. I mean I'm not gonna say like if you're a fan of Leah Bardugo, you're gonna obviously love this because it's nothing like her other works, like at all. I just want to say that if you're a fan of Jay Kristoff, you'll definitely like this. <laughs> um, just because it has like that same kind of, it's really dark humor. Like this book is steeped in dark humor and just like messed up. Like it's just, it's a really dark book and all the topics of course are very dark. You know, a lot of rape is mentioned, a lot of just the, <sighs> A lot of drugs there's a lot of drugs in this book guys like if you're averse to drugs at all stay away from this um if you're fine with drugs as long as they're not like like none of the drugs in this book are uh, coincided with mental illnesses because i know that like that upsets some people but the drugs in this book are mostly like recreational and like just substance abuse this book is very steeped in substance abuse we'll see how this continues going i really don't know i have a hundred pages left of the book. But um da dum <laughs> Yeah, I only have a hundred pages left of ninth house. Oh no, don't go away. Um Wow, this back half is so interesting. And if it went to the fact that I've been sitting in the same position for like a couple hours and like my butt hurting from being in the same position. I would keep reading, but I'm gonna actually get up and like stretch and move my muscles for a little bit. Oh, okay. But just wanted to say, like, I'm actually really surprised and really happy with how much I'm enjoying this book. I went into it kind of afraid that I wouldn't love it, and I really am like. I think that this is, uh, I'm not 100% sure yet if it's a 5 or a 4.5 star read. Currently it's a 4.5 star read. Depending on how it ends, it could be a 5 star read. I think people are really going to love it. And I think that the biggest issue people will actually have with it is just expecting it to be something else. I think people who are expecting something like Grisha are going to be very disappointed because this is its own entity. Like this is this is different. This is nothing like what she's ever written before and it's so amazing to think that this has come from the same author because it's so beautifully written and I am not having trouble understanding it. It's not confusing. Everything is woven in seamlessly and I'm just curious. I want to know what's going on. I want to know is Darlington alive? Okay, that's not a spoiler. You know from the beginning that the dude's missing. Like, I want to know, is he alive? I really hope he's alive because I really like him. And, you know, I, I want to see more of him. I have a really bad feeling that he's dead. And that kind of sucks. But, life. I'm excited. So I only have 100 pages left. Uh, I don't know. It's like 7.30 now. I'll either finish it. I'll definitely finish it tomorrow. I just don't know how much more I'm going to read tonight. Maybe like another couple... Maybe like another chapter or two, but I'll definitely be able to finish it tomorrow, which is nice. So at least I finished something this week. 
and then I think I'm going to be picking up other books next week. I do think that it does take a while to read through this book. I mean, it is almost 500 pages and it is a lot and you do want to take, like, I'm not finding myself skipping paragraphs, skimming over anything. Like, I'm taking everything in. The only thing that I skimmed over was maybe, like, a couple of the Leith journal entries just because... I was too excited to keep on going with the story and I didn't really feel like reading the journal entries. <laughs> but yeah, this is my other update and I'll leave it up to you guys again tonight or I'll update you guys tomorrow. We shall see. I don't know. Hi, so it is... <laughs> it's um... 1pm, 2pm, one of those two times. I don't remember exactly which one it is, but I just finished Ninth House by Leah Bardugo and oh my god, that was actually such a great ending. Like, what a solid ending. Oh my god. I love how that finished. That finished so well. So well. Let me move this. Hang on. I don't know, I just, I love how it ended. It was, oh, I went through almost all of my tabs. I even had to open up a new one so I could continue using like purple, orange, and pink tabs because I totally went through all those. Uh, just to remind you, pink was for pros and quotes that I liked. The orange was just for things that I liked and enjoyed in the book. Um, and then purples, both of the purples were just plot things. So there were like a lot of plot tabs I made in this book let me see I know you can see this is like probably the most I've ever tabbed a book to be honest with you guys it was just there's so much and it was I, this book was not at all what I expected there's a lot of hype surrounding this book there's a lot of preconceived notions for what this book is about and I don't think it's not at all what I expected and I don't think and anyone who's going into this I don't think that this is gonna be what they expected but I still I loved it for what it is and I'm so excited to see where it keeps on going like the ending had me screaming but like good screaming not like no screaming but like yes screaming because oh my god the ending made me so happy I was like oh my god yeah <laughs> I was so happy with how it ended like it was the best it made me so happy because there is this thing that happens and it was just so sad i was like no are you serious and i was like oh i was so upset but um oh my god and there's so much more so like you actually you you don't fully find out why alex can see the grays oh my god my hair looks like a mess i need to wash it but um you do find out like what she is kind of like there's a name for her kind of people and that was really interesting i like that whole backstory i loved how everyone in here was unreliable pretty much everyone in here is an unreliable narrator except for detective turner who i love detective turner is hilarious he's a centurion and so what that means is oh my god there's light on the wall since now i'm distracting zelda and the Centurion is kind of the delegate between the police force and Leith slash the Eight Houses of the Vale. And it is so funny because he's just like, he doesn't want to deal with any of this like magical heebie-jeebie shit. And <laughs> it's just so funny because like he also doesn't totally believe it too. And he just thinks it's just a bunch of people like dressing up, pretending to be part of the occult. And he's hilarious. Like I love his character and I just want to see more of him. Like he's easily one. Like I love everyone in this. Like everyone that you get to know is awesome. And I'm just so surprised that I actually really did enjoy this as much as I did. But I'm going to read you guys one of my favorite quotes if I can find it. Oh my God, I don't even know where it was. Here it is. This is my favorite. This is like my favorite quote kind of in this. And it's actually from Detective Turner. He goes, all you children playing with fire, looking surprised when the house burns down. Like, if that is not the epitome of this book, I don't know what is. Oh, it's just so cool. And, like, I don't want to spoil or give anything away because this doesn't come out for, like, actually, today is the 8th, I think. It's August 8th. So it comes out in exactly two months today. 
which is kind of funny if I think about it. Um, God, I have to write a whole review for this. I don't even know how to put my words together for like a review for this. I do want to say that it's not nearly as dark as everyone is making it out to be. That is probably the biggest thing I want to reiterate is yes, there are two rape scenes. There is one scene where it has ritual cutting. There is one scene where it has a ritual death, like someone purposely like drowns and kills themselves to be resurrected. There is that weird defecation scene. There is someone who o overdoses by accident. There's a lot of talk of substance abuse, but that's kind of it. Like, I don't know, I was expect, I don't know. I was just, I was expecting it to be a lot more darker than it was, um, which I think is actually a good thing because I think that it was great. Like I loved it and I adored everything in this. I think it was beautifully written. It never ever felt info dumpy and that is like such a special talent that Leigh Bardugo has that she could write this book, create this entire world, all these different societies, like there are eight houses of the veil. She manages to explain to you all of them how to explain Leith and all these different occult things and the secret societies without ever making it feel info dumpy and that's so amazing. Yeah, so that's it for my ninth house reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It took me five days to read this, I think. Was it five days? Did I set this on Monday or Tuesday? I don't know. I read this very slow at the beginning, but it really did pick up. And I think if I had like, the days that I've actually had time to like sit and read it, I've like blown through it. <laughs> I just, I keep reading some of my pink tabs and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I love Darlington so much. Like, you have no idea how much I love Darlington. Oh my god. Oh well, that's it. Yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. If you want to see more of these reading vlogs that are just kind of dedicated to ARCs. If you guys liked my thoughts. If there are any of you guys out there who have also read this, let me know because I do know there are some people. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch, guys. Bye!